I mean, aren't these things made of soup, uh, like future metal that, that don't rust? Can we push it down the cliff? That would have actually been kind of amazing, I'm not going to lie. I'm not sure that we can, but... That would be pretty, pretty amazing. How you holding up? I need to get back over there. Have a heart. Have a heart. Now, I guess you did the best you could. Rest easy now. <laughs> Thank you for the dab of rips in sure chat. People are safe. I wonder if I we had moved faster, if we had heart. snuck past the the um, machines, if we had just gone straight to the stormboat and come back, would he have survived? He holds up for three days, and then five minutes later, he's dead. Yeah, I, I know. Reverse plot armor. <laughs> he's guaranteed to die. Oh, Arky says no, because that's what I did. Uh, and unit 5532 says, I stuck past, and the same thing happened. That's a shame. Is there an easy way down here? Yes, there is. Geronimo! You know, I'm starting to forgive. Ooh. Get oh dear. No. I'm starting to forgive the infinite amounts of rope There's that hold. Aloy has in sucks. her satchel. What I don't understand is how her hands hold up to that kind of friction. I'm sorry, Aloy, but you shouldn't have any skin left on your palms. I think I've already seen Savohar near the tower. He wasn't looking too good. Better get back up there. What? What? Uh, Aloy, you checked on him and he was dead. Her uh, arms are made of, uh, sorry, her uh, palms are made of super grip polymers that have been made flesh tone. It's just a bug, I think. It happened in my sister's game, too. Oh, thank you very much, Thalotron. <laughs> that Stormbird belongs to the boss. We will not yield. I'm a generous gent. So I'll give you one more chance to make it easy on yourselves and clear out. We won't let you pass, Asaram. If you choose bloodshed, that's on your conscience. Ain't it just like the cards you to make things harder than they have to be? Okay, boys. You heard her. Get your consciences ready. Hold on now, Tolland. You again? Listen, I'm all out of patience here. I clipped that Stormbird's wings. The salvage is mine. I don't care who gets in my way. Nora savages or shadow cars or flea bags. I'm taking it. Do you have any idea how many bandits, corpses, lie in my wake? Have you any comprehension the kind of super intelligences that I've already put down? Possibly. Except for silence double crossing. But nevertheless, this, the point still stands. Do you think you were going to get in my way? <sighs> hmm.
No, I, I think I think Aloy's response to bullies would be the tough approach, as it... Well, well actually, no. What, ooh. Because I was going to say something that I actually think is wrong. Now, if you cast your mind back, now it was a long time I played the first one. If anyone in chat remembers the first playthrough, what was Aloy's choice when the bullies threw rocks at her? I can't recall if she responded with aggression or intelligence. Yeah, yeah, I threw it back in his hand so it was brains. If if Aloy had gone for the for the the fight response, then I would have picked that one here since simply because that's how her character is developed. That's her response to bullies. But we'll go with intelligence, because that was her response to bullies. Well, from what I hear, the law says that whoever gets the salvage first keeps it. Which, in this case, is me. Am I right? You took the heart? I shot that Stormbird! Me! Am I right? She's right, boss. Blasted love, shut up! <sighs> okay. You win. Hey, I'm doing fine. I don't need that salvage anyhow. But these people need all the help they can get. Come on, boys. Back to chain scrape. I need a drink. Aloy, again, we thank you. You're welcome. Now take this heart. Use it to buy food, clothes, shelter for your people. Maybe even land to build a new home. I... This is... Savohar must make these decisions. No, About that, I'm, um... I'm sorry, Lakasha. Savohar isn't coming back. He's gone. I know it's hard. But your people need a leader now. Go to Chainscrape. Talk to the Forge woman there, Petra. Give her the Stormbird heart. She'll look after you and your people until you can get back on your feet. Find your path. I'll do my best, Aloy. What choice do I have? Here, please accept this. It is modest, but I hope it I helps don't need in it. some small way. To Chainscrape, then. That being said, maybe it's culturally insensitive not to accept a gift when offered, but still. I don't know enough about Karja... Oh, face paint unlocked. Karja Scholar. Oh, nice. I don't know enough about uh, Karja ways to know whether that would have been an insult or not. Still love that Petra is in this game. I, I, I love it, too. Though I really do wish I knew whether or not, because I completed the first game so thoroughly, I don't know whether she would have been in this game had I not completed her quest. I, I'm going to be so bitterly disappointed if Bryn is in the game, though. Whether I completed the quest or not, I did, of course, but... If Bryn isn't here, when Bryn specifically said he was going into the Forbidden West after he drank the blood of the... What was it? He drank... Was it the um, Corrupter? He drank the blood of the Corrupter and then had an awful vision and decided that his response would be to go to the Forbidden West. Yeah, I, I very much don't believe it's reading the metagame data. And that is largely based on the fact that they, they give bios for everything. If it was reading the game data, it would know that I knew all these people and know what happened with them. So I don't need a, a recap. Wow, I just realized. That's a shame. <laughs> there is one male model. There are different heads, sure. But there is one male model and one female model. All men and women are exactly the same height, which is different from each other. 
Now you know. The future is simplified things. You need exactly two sizes of clothes. Only two. Yeah, why are all the models the same height? I'm surprised by that. I'm surprised by that. Also, I could be using my charge to get down here, but I'm I'm enjoying the walk. Robot God likes similarities, yes. Robot God did not want people being uh, being made to feel lesser than because they were shorter or too tall. No. Robot God was benevolent. Robot God made us all the same. That's actually true. It might not even be anything to do with Gaia. It might literally have been that, you know, that's that's what humanity was like before the fall. That, you know, design of babies got really out of hand. Huh? Oh my lord, Aloy, come on. That's bad. I don't even need to do it. I just, I'm, I feel compelled. Uh, actually, you know what? I haven't even equipped my new weapon. Why have I not equipped my new weapon, Chad? Chad, explain to me. Explain to me. Why was new, a new weapon not equipped? Also... I must know. Okay, that, yeah, that is... Oh, I see. Is that going to cause it to insta-aggress? Tong, 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 tong. Okay. Uh, guys, I got some friends. I have got friends. I may be bringing them. I would have laughed if that actually did aggro drag the whole thing over here and then the uh, camp guards had to try and face it off. That, that, that would have been like early MMO kind of shenanigans. The best sort of shenanigans. That's be quite quite blunt about this those shenanigans were the best ones when you could do stuff like aggro drag incredibly difficult mobs into a town to get the town's guard wiped out so you could then move in with the town's guard dead and pvp a bunch of people in the town <laughs> that are no longer protected by the town guard ah good old mmos it was a simpler more savage time but definitely simpler Let's go and speak with Petra. I just want to check. Hey, oh. So what's new? Aloy machine hunter. <sighs> Has Talland been giving the refugees any trouble? Nah. He's still nursing his pride over at his shop. I've seen Karja fuss pots made of tougher stuff than that brittle bolt. Anyway, he knows if he messes with the shadow Karja, he messes with me. Fair enough. I gotta go, Petra. That you do. I'll keep the seat warm for you. As long as you don't keep the beer warm, that's fine. Okay, let's have a look. Is there anyone else here that I need to talk to? I do not believe there is. I think we may have completed that quest, peeps. One of the last. 
All right, yeah. Let's have a look. Main in errands signaling the sun. That's still a level five. What level are we now? We're level ten. We're twice as high. I approve. Uh, we're not twice as high as the embassy quest, though. I don't want a nice warm English lager. No. Uh, to be fair, I'm not actually much of a beer or lager drinker. I used to drink a fair bit of lager when I was playing rugby a lot, but I, it was never really my drink of choice. It was just a drink I could afford. Let's put it that way. The moment I could afford other drinks, then I didn't really have so much time for lager. That being said, you know, there is something to be said about a cold beer in a beer garden on a warm day. That that is a special kind of piece. But that's not really what I was doing when I was playing rugby. I was drinking lager and uh, beer because I could afford a lot of them, which is what I needed because uh, my metabolism really did not care too much for the idea of getting drunk. Uh, I either had to spend stupid amounts or uh, just drink the, the cheapest stuff I could in vast quantities. I'm allergic to beer, so I will never know that feeling. That is that is a shame, because there are there are some times when it's it's literally it tastes of peace. We're not talking like enough lager to even even really get tipsy, like no sensory changes. If you know what I mean, like, you know, where I would where I would say, okay, I'm tipsy now, is where um, turning your head suddenly there's it you don't feel dizzy, but there's like an echo. Come it's on. it's almost as if your equilibrioception is lagged, very slightly, but enough for you to be conscious of it. The moment you get to the point where the the finger, the, sorry, the um, the pads of your fingers kind of feel different not numb because that's when you're very drunk but um like if you just tap your thumb to your finger pads and you can f you're aware that it feels ever so slightly off again it's like a, it's like an echo of what it should feel like you're like okay yeah i'm drunk now that's th those are those are my lines in the sand the moment my equilibrioception feels ever so slightly lagged i'm tipsy the moment that has uh, progressed to the point where my fingertips feel different but, you know, again, I'm, I'm completely aware of it. I'm drunk. Everything beyond that, I'm just getting drunker. That's the way that I, I, I kind of grade levels of alcohol effect. You're rubbing in, redhead. Yes. I ain't listening. Uh, that's fine. I'll just stand here and let you absorb it. What happened to your hair? Did you... Is that is that the model wrong, or did you did you just lose a bunch of your hair in the, uh, to the forge? Because honestly, that looks like what it is. Move those feet. It looks like he actually lost a bunch of hair to the forge. Hmm, interesting. You're back? I am. Well, that's just great. Mm, okay, nothing else for I you have to say. places to be. <laughs> By all means, don't let me stop you. Well, I'm here, though. My lord, this place is actually completely packed to the brim with stuff. All right. We have exactly one place, and one place only to be. I'll take a quick dip in the river. Whoop. Better shake off this wet. Right. How? What? How did you come from the river? Are you a submersible? What? Why? Why won't you stop so I can get on? There we go. There we go. There we go. I like to imagine that my charge amount can uh, transform. 
enter aquatic mode when the need arises. I mean, honestly, if I was if I was making terraforming machines, even if I did have a penchant for megafauna, okay, yeah, sure, they can look like dinosaurs when they're on land, but what about when they're not? Why would you limit yourself to machines that can only do one thing? Well, actually, no, that's exactly what, the way I imagine an AI would, would think. I, I, I feel that it would definitely head more for the uh, efficiency of specialization over other things. Right, come on. Don't mind me. <laughs> No, thank you. Don't mind me still. I'm sorry, Bo. Actually, I am. But only a little. Hello. Hi. I am not. Oh, the Kestrel's heading over here. Really no reason. <laughs> Was I doing anything suspicious? I, I don't know, but uh, okay. Oh, it's probably because the uh, machines are still hunting me. We're just going to saunter on in. Oh, I wonder if I can gather while I'm on the... on. The, yeah, I can. Nice. We could do that in the first game as well. I didn't do it nearly enough. Please don't tell me I can collect a rock, though. Because that makes no sense. I can. Okay, fair enough. Apparently I can. Uh, oh, this is the... I thought we were actually at the, the town, but we are not. I feel bad about that one, but at the same time, it was kind of funny. Yeah, I like how they lined up on the side, yeah. That was actually cool how they got out of the way. Time to train, Savior. All right, that's our destination. It's been a long while coming, but we're almost there, chat. Yeah, being able to loot from the machine back is quite nice. I'm a little bit sad. I'm actually more sad than I probably should be that I can't see the logs being collected there. Damn it. I really wanted to see those logs in the river getting collected by that mechanism. Baron Light. Last part of the Sundom before the Forbidden West. Uh, Karja Horn. Maybe that means the embassy's starting soon. Oh. You need to stay out here. Hey, you are, Barash Kampachi. Right. I should find whoever's in charge here. But first, I could resupply at my stash. I'd be worth taking a look around, too. Arky, I have actually played Machine Strike. Uh, I've won all of the beginner games so far. Is that the savior of Meridian? Hello. Can we have a word? I suppose. Ah, uh, savior. <laughs> Tell me. Are you seeking passage into no man's land by any chance? Maybe. Why do you ask? Ah, well, to hammer it plain, there's treasure out west. Unclaimed scrap and ancient metal. And I've got a sturdy band of salvagers that knows the lay of the land. 
Okay. You're not afraid of the Tanakh? <laughs> Terrified. But I carry out most of my business in no man's land. A neutral territory and all that. Baron Light is our port of entry. When its doors aren't closed for an embassy. <laughs> I was hoping your arrival meant they might be opening soon. I've got a business to run, after all. I want that embassy to happen as much as you do. Believe me, I'm working on it. <laughs> Good to know. And uh, keep us in mind. If you do manage to open the way, our main camp will be just past Baron Light. We'll buy any scrap you've got on you. And if you're looking for machine parts, we've got the best in the West. The yeah, best in the West. That's right. a that's a good slogan. Later, then. Uh, if you could get you those won the slogan lottery. The gates open. <laughs> Legitimately an amazing the only one who wants to get slogan. Open. Well done, you. She cleared out the machine. All right, let's have a look. Hello. You're far from home, Nora. Whoa. I am. Uh, oh. Hey! Hello, girl. Yes, you're new here. Uh, I am actually. Yes. Right. Got a lot of stuff going on. Play machine strike against me. Ha! Oh, maybe. I I mean I just got here and there's stuff I can do, but I, uh, mm. I will hand in this one quest. You wanna talk uh business, Aloy? Yes. Is that what I think it is? It is. Yeah, you've got all your lenses. My pops would be sad they're tearing down those towers. But he'd be happy these lenses were spared. Many thanks to you, Aloy. Oh, here. What I owe you. Now, this has truly been a profitable endeavor for the both of us. So, what are you going to do next? I'm taking these back to the claim. Ankles all better, and I miss the stench of soot in the air. Let's hope you don't find any more opportunities on your way there. <laughs> no promises. I'm going to be Good honest, luck, the Eli. smiles... So much about the expressions are great. But the smiles, the smiles just feel a little bit off. Or a lot off in some cases. I uh, don't know what you're talking about. There's definitely no statues of me, Meridian. Come on then. No one's up for a game of strike? Alright, I'll play one game of strike with you. I got all my machine pieces accounted for. Right, first board. Very well. That's a very mixed board, though. Ooh, okay. Um, yeah, we're going to create a new set. I'm going to take two bristlebacks, two gunners, a charger, and that's it. Uh, actually, no, I think I will take one of the bristlebacks. You know what? No. Let's cancel that. Don't save it. We will go with set one. I liked what we had there. I like the two gunners. Let us do battle. This is a messy board, my lord. Okay, so my scrapper. Pop you up there. My other scrapper, I'll pop over here. Ooh. I had not properly seen that one, I'm gonna be honest. Razor for the planes. Gonna need to get it into the planes as quickly as I can. And another lance horn. I'm done. All right. Fair enough. But I want to have a look at you, long leg. The start of each turn, all friendly machines within attack range gain plus one attack power. Effects can stack. 
Wow, that's amazing. All right. That's amazing and also terrifying, actually. Hmm. I'm going to pop you there. Time for me to step up. It is. Oh god, you've got a long range. Your turn. Right here. I mean the grazer should be able to do a decent chunk of damage, but mm, maybe not. A lance horn. That one will just take you straight out, but it will expose you to some danger. One down. Getting over there wouldn't be a bad move. I fear that that's going to be more dangerous for me than them, though. If I could get over on that side, it wouldn't be as bad, but uh, I kind of need to move them around a bit more than I can here. I'm going to charge you in and I'm going to end the turn there. Gotta I'm not going to take that move. Oh, wow. Does the bristleback hurt everyone? Machine down. Did that bristleback actually harm my gunner? My scrapper, rather? It's quite possible it did. Huh. Alright. Not a big fan of that. Alright. And there it goes. Hmm. Yeah, sure, let's get in there. And I'm actually going to overcharge it as well. Let's remove it from... Well, actually... Yeah, let's let's remove it. I only need to let's get that piece take out one it. more piece after that. Okay, I can do this. fine to lose a piece there. I don't expect that I'm you. going to struggle too much at this point. Uh, right. The lance horn, not as great of a position, but this is fine. Tunk. There we me. go. We win. But I bet I can win next time. Oh, I'm not so sure about that. There we are. That was actually pretty fun. I enjoyed that. Oh, no star, Clark. Take care, buddy. I would not be surprised at all. Oh, my God. That's a terrifying set. Uh, all right. Defeat all three beginner strike players to earn this reward. We'll get a charge apiece if we complete them all. But those ones look dangerous. Either way, though, if you feel like playing some more. I can only play a little bit at a time. Otherwise, Let's... I'm fairly certain chat will get very angry at me. Uh, there's an unknown up there. We've got a new quest over here. And there's an 
unknown over here, but there is also a hunting... Oh, hunter goods. I was about to say hunting grounds in the middle of this place. So that's Play some very... Machine uh, strike. Very bold. But, sadly, that's going to be it for this stream. Here, <laughs> sword in. Right, let's get a proper save down. I have had a load of fun tonight. And, you know, I can't I can't go to the embassy because I kind of made a point of saying that I was going to avoid the embassy in the title. And I'm running out of things to use to avoid the embassy. He found the plot. Time to quit for uh, before it continues. Exactly, Debbie of Depp. That is precisely my cunning plan. Uh, I'm actually kind of amazed that we had stuff to do this whole time. And that gives me a lot of happiness with the game. And I know it's kind of, you know, meme-ish that I'm avoiding the main plot. I'm not really trying to avoid it. But I am prioritizing doing everything I can whenever I can. Like getting all of the uh, side quests out of the way. And I'm amazed that we actually managed to get through another six and a half hours without having to do the side quest. Uh, the main quest. Like, we've been doing stuff this whole time. All the different quests. And I'm really, really happy with where we've gotten to now. We are, however, all the way down here in Barren Light. And about ready to get out here. Oh, wow. There, there is a lot of out here to go. Huh. Would I say that this is as much as the first game? I probably would, actually. I'm not sure exactly, but I would say that the first game would probably have ended around there in terms of its size. Maybe a little bit more beyond. But I think that this is probably a decent size. Uh, the streams of Horizon will start picking up pace once I start uploading the VODs to my second channel. Again, exclamation mark archives in chat to get a list of, uh, sorry, to get the uh, link to Avac After Hours, where the VODs will be going up. Uh, I am probably going to spend today editing out the first set, the first stream we did, and start getting those going up in the next couple of days. Uh, but that is going to be it from me. For now, I really do hope you've all enjoyed as much as I have enjoyed. And we will probably be back to Horizon in the very near future, especially now that Shelab is home and can actually watch the streams, because I didn't want to get too far ahead, because I know that she was uh, looking forward to seeing the game. Right, thank you very much, everyone. With that, let's go find someone to raid. <laughs> <laughs>